I started running when I was 13 years old. Pretty much, it was a default sport because I wasn't good at anything else. Well, I ran in uh, high school and I didn't take it too seriously, but I did well enough where I was recruited in college. I've gotten into a, a routine, and once you get in the routine, it's very easy to stay in it. I wake up, I run to school, run back from school. Once you start doing it and it becomes a routine and part of your daily activities, it's addicting. The other day I got up and I did a 15 miler in the pouring rain. It was freezing and I was like, what am I doing? Why do I do this? And those are the moments you question, but then when you go out and you do a great race or you have a good workout, you're like, well, that's why you do it. I'm training for Boston Marathon this year. This will be my seventh marathon. There's no secret, you just run a lot, so I've just been running a lot. I'm not a marathoner, and while they try and convince you to do it, uh, you're like, no. It just seems so painful. Last year, the marathon trials to pick the um, U.S. Olympic team were held here in Boston uh, for the women's team. I qualified with my performance at the 2006 Boston Marathon. I run for the Boston Athletic Association, and they were the host for the trials, and we had six people from the club qualify. So it was pretty neat to be like the host team, and we also had so many qualifiers. In order to start running, you really need the motivation. Whether you want to get into shape, if you want to train for a race, whether you want to run with some friends or something like that, you just you need a reason to do it. Just dedication. You have to just sort of get in that mindset that, okay, I'm going to go for a run. No one's going to force you to get out the door and run, and it, you have to want to do it yourself. And my parents hate it, but I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs>